Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Good morning. The time now is 643. And Corey, the weather's so perfect today. You say you're going to switch up your topic on the weather-wise question. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to talk about about the weather <laughs> today. No, just kidding. But we did talk earlier about uh, the Colony Pumpkin Patch in mm -hmm. uh, the North Liberty area winning you know, an award and or at least some recognition. So why not talk about pumpkins? We're getting to that time of year. Around how many pounds of pumpkin is produced in the United States each year? I'll give you one small clue. This is based on 2020 data. It's probably not very helpful, but it is a clue. 200 million pounds, 500 million pounds, 750 million pounds, or 1.5 billion pounds of pumpkin. How much? All of those numbers very large. Today's concerns in the weather, as Kristen noted, though, are limited. We have all green boxes here on your first alert with little weather impact over the next little while. Our Vinton City Cam, which will pop in here in a second. There we go. Beautiful picture of a sunrise that is imminent across eastern Iowa. Just some of those mid or high level clouds present to provide a little extra splash of color. Temperatures in the 30s around the area too. 35 in Dubuque, 34 in Vinton. Winds are nearly non-existent in most cases. Now allowed things to cool off very efficiently last night. Already about 5 degrees cooler in most cases than yesterday morning at this time. So yes, a chilly start to the day out there so far, but we will be warming up as we go ahead with sunshine likely through most of the day. Winds out of the southwest likely today as well, and that will keep our temperatures a little bit warmer by the time we get toward this afternoon. Those two combined effects will be a big deal as we go through it. Now by tonight, we're going to keep skies mostly clear to start, but then more clouds move in fairly quickly. And so before a start tomorrow, we're expecting partly to mostly cloudy skies and then a few scattered showers too. northwestern counties first by about mid morning toward lunchtime across a good portion of the area and then exiting to the east temporarily by afternoon. Now this activity all very light and very scattered as it moves through. Some additional light and scattered showers are possible as we head toward Wednesday night and even into Thursday. In, ter in terms of total amounts though, expect very little. Hundreds of an inch likely uh, during the next couple of days from this one storm system. Temperatures today reaching the 60s. Really, really nice out there. 65 in Fayette, 67 in Tama. We're expecting mostly sunny skies and a southwesterly breeze at about 5 to 15. In terms of temperatures over the next couple of days, there will be some changes. Now, mid to upper 60s still likely tomorrow ahead of that cold front, but that front will actually push us down toward the upper 50s to low 60s with a little bit of a cloudier and breezier day for your Thursday. But the bounce back will be fairly sudden, or at least fairly soon to follow. Already mid 60s possible by as soon as Friday, and then keeping in the 60s for more days to follow, even close to 70 by next Tuesday, with a few more showers and storms possible by then. So many, many days to uh, make the most of, get some yard work done as we head toward the end of the uh, growing season here, and uh, just sort of enjoy some nice fall days. And that could involve a trip to the pumpkin patch. It's up to you. Around how many pounds of pumpkin is produced in the United States. This includes jack-o'-lanterns and stuff that gets processed and all that sort of stuff. So what do you guys think? Well, given the increase of pumpkin spice everything, which is, I'm not criticizing it. Like, if you like it, I'm really happy. I like it, too. I think I'll go D, <laughs> one and a half billion. I'm also going to say D, one and a half billion, because just last week, I think it was, we saw a guy going down the river in a pumpkin boat. So some of these pumpkins are massive. <laughs> so we just have our size of boats. We have so much pumpkin that we just are making boats out of it. Apparently, yeah. And Daniel point. is also saying D. So we got three in on D. And you are correct. One and a half we billion <laughs> pounds of usable pumpkin, they said. In fact, total output is closer to about two billion pounds What's an in 2020. Pumpkin? I have probably one that's just not able to be processed or maybe some jack-o'-lanterns that are okay. not ready to be sold and misshapen or have you know some imperfection that may not be able to make them used. So gotcha. apparently that does account for half a billion pounds. <laughs> so wow. we just produce a lot of pumpkin in a lot of places. More pumpkin questions probably coming yet this month. So I like the theme. Yeah, yeah, me too. You can't have too much pumpkin this time of year, like, like you said, Jackie. Exactly. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice everything. <laughs> <laughs> including pumpkin spice weather too. Uh, apparently, yes, yeah. and we'll have some of that too. All right, thanks, Corey. <laughs>